Okay, so we have finally made it. This is the first stop of a very long and eventful summer, which is going to be coming my way. Porto Manus, Marbella, Costa del Sol. I am no stranger to this place. I've been here a couple of times before. In fact, I used to work here when I was 20 years old, but I'll tell you more about that story later on in this video. Today, we're going to do a little bit of everything, a little bit of food, a little bit of training, a little bit of beach club, and we'll just see what happens. So now, I've not eaten anything. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm going to eat myself. Food. Okay, so this is the spot. It's called Rose's Cafe. It's very pink and flowery and feminine, but uh, they do a pretty mean breakfast, so that's all that really matters at the end of the day. This is a special omelette which I specifically asked for. This is four eggs, got all the trimmings bacon, mushroom, onion, garlic, a little bit of bread. Yeah, I'm gonna have some bread today because I'm feeling super naughty. Well, that was absolutely delicious. Now, I'm gonna go to the gym, but we're gonna walk there. Good thing about Port Benus is like, everything is walking distance, and obviously it's not a million degrees like it was in Dubai, so walking is actually quite pleasant. There's nice things to look at. There's actually footpaths, fresh air. Hear the birds singing, it is very refreshing. So here we are, Real Club Paddle, Marbella. Honestly, I'd say this is probably like one of the best gyms I've been to in a very long time. Because you've got like, you've got an indoor area, you've got a massive outdoor area where they've packed as many machines as possible. You've got like a CrossFit area here, there's trees. I feel like I'm training in the middle of nature. Good vibe, people. Can I take a photo with you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you, a, you a local? You live here. Yes, thank you. Are you living here in Marbella or? Uh, I'll be back and forward throughout ah. the summer. So I'm gonna do two weeks here now, and then I'm going to Ibiza, yeah. and then I'll probably come back again. Like I'm liking this place more than I thought I would, so I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay for longer. How would you like more Ibiza or Marbella? Are different. The gyms here are better, yeah. but in Ibiza it's better for the partying, and the yeah. beaches are better as well. The beaches in Ibiza are beautiful, yeah. but Marbella is uh, it's more of a place where you can live and actually have more of a normal life. Ibiza is just too crazy sometimes. And it's a, it's a small island, so there's like a limited amount of things you can do. Yeah, I think that Ibiza is more for a party to go. Yeah. You have more team. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I think here at the moment, there's more of a party scene than yeah. Ibiza because everything closes at 12 o'clock there. But ah. here, the clubs are open till 2. So that's good news. <laughs> So not even two sets into the workout. That guy's already, uh, he's gifted me with his book, Amir Hagazi, Startup Arabia. So in between sets, I'm gonna be learning how to uh, make some more money. Last set. By the way, today we're doing a horizontal push-pull routine from the Thirst app. Any of you guys want to get in shape this summer, the app is literally a combination of every single tool that you could possibly need in order to get yourself in shape. So if you haven't signed up already, get yourself involved. All programs designed by me, nutrition plans, recipes, exercise tutorial videos and a whole load of other exclusive content where I pretty much answer all the common questions which I've received as a coach over the past 12 years. So go to thirstofficial.com and sign up now. Dumbbell press, let's go. Start with the 40s. Should be, no problem. Okay, so that is the session done. Chest and back complete, in the bag. What a beautiful Sunday it's been so far. I was actually, I was out last night with a couple of people. I'm supposed to meet up with them now, but I have no idea where they are. I called it a semi-early night at one o'clock. I'm glad I did because I've got my steps in, I've had a good breakfast and I've got my workout in. So now I'm gonna go to the beach, hopefully meet up with them if they've surfaced, but who knows, but 
The day is still young. It's been a good one so far. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my very temporary pad. Right in the middle of the port. Like literally right in the middle. This couldn't be more central than the country, right? Pretty cool. Nice, modern, stylish. Bit of a different view to what I'm used to. It certainly is a refreshing change. It smells fresh. It doesn't smell like a dusty desert anymore. It's a good little spot, but if you guys are actually gonna like ever come to Port Banus, if you get a place right in the center, like right on the port, it is loud. Like when I got here the other night, like the music was blasting. Unfortunately, at the moment, they close all the bars at like 12 o'clock. So the music stops at 12, but like back in the day before COVID, everything would be rocking around here until about three or four in the morning. So if you want to come and have a little peaceful stay in Port Venus, don't stay in Port Venus, just stay a little bit further out. I think this is going to be a summer of hopping from Airbnbs from one to the next. It's actually quite good because last year I'd committed to staying in Ibiza for the whole summer because I'd paid for this apartment all summer and so like I kind of just had to stay there really but now I'm literally completely free. I can decide to go wherever I want to go, just book an Airbnb, book a flight, boom, I'll be there. So it's going to be a good summer, it's going to be a summer of adventure, making memories before I eventually return back to Dubai. So we're out on the streets of Port Banus, and I tell you what, this is bringing back a hell of a lot of memories. 10 years ago, exactly 10 years ago this summer, I was working out here as a club promoter. That was my job. I'd finished university, didn't know what it was I was gonna do for the summer, so I decided to come out here, have some fun, have the summer of my life, and uh, yeah, I guess you could say uh, I've come quite a long way. So even though it wasn't necessarily the most ideal job in the world, I actually learned a lot from it, and I had a lot of fun. Like, I think I got comfortably quite a lot of partying out of my system at an early age, which was good. And one thing I'd never done before was like actually approach people like cold on the street. So having that job was really good for approaching people, building confidence and actually like improving my social skills. Because I think I was like quite introverted before I came out here, but actually developing that skill to communicate with people, have a bit of crack with them and to do that with complete strangers actually I actually learned a lot that summer and you know on top of that it was a hell of a lot of fun so this is the infamous spot the Hagen Das corner this was, this was my territory this is where I was assigned to so basically from 10 p.m. till 3 in the morning I was just standing around here going up to people asking them if they wanted to come to the club or not and I was doing it for pennies. I'd like no money in the bank. Watching all these people eating at fancy restaurants which I couldn't afford to eat at. Driving these cars that I couldn't afford to drive. Didn't even have social media to distract me. This was all before social media. I had my Blackberry. I didn't have access to Facebook and Instagram didn't even exist. I don't know, I don't know how I did it. I could not do that again right now. So now we're gonna go to a surprise party. Get this right. So this, the Irish guy I was training with last year in lockdown, one of my friends called Craig, he just literally proposed to his wife tonight, maybe like an hour ago, he's proposed to her. So we're gonna go to Voodoo now. The whole squad is gonna get together and we're gonna throw a surprise party for the wife-to-be Kiki. So let's go. So quite clearly I'm the first one here, but this spot, Voodoo, right outside the port on the roundabout is a proper sick place. It's like a, it's a restaurant, but it kind of turned into a bit of a club vibe after it's up until I think 12 or two o'clock, I don't really know, but outside bit here, inside bit there, and the food is unbelievable. I came here a couple of nights ago, so it should be a funny night tonight. Shout out to Phil Savage for sorting all of this out. He's one of the guys that owns the place, so uh, yeah. Thanks, Phil. How you doing, bro? How are you? Say <laughs> two. <laughs> Joss is two years older than me, so really we should be asking Joss. What are you gonna get, bro? I've just got out of. Actually, I can't put that on the vlog. <laughs> yeah, jo Joss is recently single, so there's absolutely no way he's getting into a relationship right now. Summertime is not really the time to be in a relationship, from my uh, past experiences of summer. So. Not for me. But we need to ask Rob though, we need to pressure Rob and see what he's going to do it. Rob's not going to happen. I'm joking, Linda. He will, he will. Yeah, Linda, it's going to happen. Hello, 
you see my videographer now as well? Yeah. I can't. Yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna have to battle it out now. All right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take Louis. There you go. Yeah, yeah. People like seeing me and Mike together in an exotic hot country, lifting weights and flexing. We should just start an OnlyFans. Out of all the people I've gone traveling with, I'd probably say you've been to the most destinations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been to a lot of places. Yeah, like I've traveled the world with this man. Rob was the one that got me into a whiskey sour. Yeah, turn him into a full-blown alcoholic at this stage. I definitely drink a little bit more in the summertime. <laughs> Surround yourself with people that improve your life. Turns me into an alcoholic. <laughs> this is a dangerous thing when there's bread. First thing that comes out, I'm absolutely starving. So this is why Mike is shredded and I'm not. Because he didn't need to You got a nice little bit on your <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, good one, Linda. <laughs> All right, we're back. Today's um, information is butter goes on the bread, not the meat. <laughs> I hope you found this informative. I'll see you next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Congratulations, bro. Oh my god! Ah, oh, there he is, the man of the hour, the girl of the hour. So you like to bring the ring from the boy with me, and I was. He told me the story, he lost it in his bag. The ring went missing for a couple days. Oh no, the ring was under my bed as well yesterday. Cleaners came in to clean the apartment. They moved the ring. I looked yesterday, I was like, where's the ring gone? Oh I was my like, gosh. Where is the ring gone? I couldn't, man, I couldn't. So I'll meet you in Voodoo as a happily engaged man, or we'll go to a pawn shop, get 15 grand or something, and just go fuck off for the night. I'm 32, fresh out of relationship. Joss isn't allowed to have, have a girlfriend or anything because he's my full-time gym partner, which is a big commitment. So women are off the table from at the moment. Shreds, shreds are inbound, so you, you can't have a woman and the shreds at the same time. PSA, they're the one. I think when I get to 35, that's when I'll start thinking. Uh, any women, any women interested in Mike, until he's 35, don't even message him. 35th birthday, right in that game. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. That is insane. What is that? I think it's like pork belly. Not an ounce of protein in it. Oh, bah. It's like, tastes so good. Right then. What a successful yeah. evening it's been. Here we have a fallen, so a fallen soldier. What he was great. It was great knowing you. Yeah, look, that's me gone. Now off the face of the planet. Give him up. He's like one of the youngest guys here and he's married. So the plan is I'm going to get in a rowboat. I'm heading from Morocco. I'm bailing out. It's over with him. Good six hours. I'm gone. married to Beth. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sick. So that was an unbelievable meal. Amazing drinks, amazing food. Now I'm going to go to News Cafe, but I'm going to end the vlog now. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you go watch Rob's video. We did a little collab there. We Great. actually worked out in that one. I just drank alcohol. That was a, that was a solid, healthy day in the life. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, go check him out. Great YouTube channel will be coming soon, no doubt. I've been inspired to, to make a YouTube channel. So Mike's tried to make me do it for two years. Yeah. I think it's time to commit. Maybe in two years. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say the same thing. Yeah, if you commit to Kiki, you can commit to a YouTube channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>